What's up, y'all? As you can see, I'm out here at the range again on a cool, windy morning. It ain't quite cold enough for the crew chief's favorite winter hat, but I'm having to deal with this little light jacket for a while. I got a few good things on the agenda for today, and this first one is one I'm very interested in seeing. So what we're working with out here as part of the jelly contraption is our chrono and two blocks of gel. Now, I've remelted this front block. This rear one has got a couple little straggling tracks in it from some tests that I did on another day. Uh, it was actually some AK tests. I'll leave some links if y'all hadn't seen that but i ran out of time and there wasn't really no sense in remelting this block just for those couple of stragglers and making it more yellow so with this head test here i don't think we're going to be doing too much into that second block but either way we should have plenty of room here now i am going to be including my heavy clothing barrier on this which is one layer of denim one layer of fleece and then two layers of cotton t-shirt material so as y'all can see by the title we're testing a couple different calibers against each other and i know some y'all probably looking at that comparison the same way Wait a minute now that's way out of whack but it really once you get looking at the subsonics in these 300s it's really not that far out of a whack from a hot nine millimeter so what we're working with here today for our 300 blackout is some hornady subsonic these were sent to me by steel punisher so i really really appreciate that uh these are 190 grain sub x projectiles so these are subsonic 300 blackout now from a 16 inch barrel they're saying a thousand fifty feet per second and hornady claims the you can figure about 30 fps loss for every inch of barrel so with what i'm running them out of here today which is an eight and a half inch barrel we should be around the 800 and something mark now i think we might be about 900 but we may be around 800 and something if we do the math that hornady's giving us on these and then for the nine millimeter i'm going with the winchester ranger t-series in 147 grain the reason i'm going with 147 grain is i want to keep it subsonic uh the velocity on these are saying 970 and i'm gonna guess that's from probably a six inch barrel so you can see what i'm saying here as far as i'm equaling out we're going to be running these out of a eight inch barrel so i think we're going to get every bit of that velocity there and and so you can see here we're doing the math uh we may be faster with this nine millimeter than we are with the 300 which would give us more energy now if we're about the same speed obviously we're going to have more energy here because of the weight now obviously i could have went with a 124 or 115 here and got a lot more more velocity uh, i could have went with a 120 a 140 110 in the 300 and got more velocity but that's not the point here but like i said we want to test this subsonic so i want to keep this nine subsonic also now me personally i run supersonic in both of these tools that we're going to be looking at here today um, i just want every bit of performance i can get out of these things i'm not concerned with over penetration uh, a super loud report like i say i want all the power and all the performance that i can possibly get now for the tools we're going to be using Using here today like i said for our nine millimeter we're going to be using an eight inch barreled ar9 the basket of deplorables nine to be specific pretty cool engraving on that one so we got an eight inch barrel there and then for our 300 blackout like i said y'all seen this one before this is an eight and a half inch barreled ar chambered in 300 blackout so like i said this ought to be pretty interesting both of these tools are my personal bump in the night right at my bedside the 300 blackout is within grabbing distance the ar9 is within about three more step so very interested personally to see the results here like i said either way i run supersonic rounds but i've always been curious how close to a nine millimeter performance you would be if you drop down the subs like this but i've rambled on way too long already let me get this stuff set up and let's check these things out all right let's get some speeds on these things i'm gonna do a five round average on each one i'm gonna start out with the nine mil t-series first see what these 147s are running Looks like, looks like 11 something. It's hard to see with the glare. Got a number two, I think it's a thousand something. I see a number three thousand something. Number four looks like a thousand something, 11 maybe. And then number five is 1,080 something. So like I said, with this eight inch barrel, it's moving them things on out. Let's check the average on that. All right, so the five round average on those nine mil T-series is 1,095 feet per second. So well above what the box is saying. Let me get this reset and let's check out them blackouts. All right, y'all, let's see what these subsonic blackouts can do. I did a little math and off camera and these things have to be moving about 975 feet per second to have more energy than that nine millimeter. So according doing the math, according to what Hornady's saying, we ain't gonna reach that, but I'm gonna be very curious to see if we do. So five round average on these also. Let's see what we get.
a uh, thousand six nine ninety four nine ninety seven uh what was that nine ninety three maybe and then a thousand six so we went over we went over what the box said. I'm gonna tell you what, this thing barely with the heavy buffer and spring I got in here, it just does cycle these rounds out. You could just feel the bolt moving back and forth, but let's go check out that data. All right, so our five round average on that subsonic blackout was 999 feet per second. So it just did have enough to get enough velocity and get a little bit more energy than the nine. Cause if y'all remember on that nine, it was 1,095. So the nine mil was actually moving 96 feet per second faster but because of the weight on that 300 projectile even though it was slower it's going to be fast enough to have a little bit more energy than that nine but all that being said it should be very interesting to see what both of these look like side by side in the jail let me get this reset and y'all know what time it is all right y'all it's short barrel showdown jelly time we'll put one round of each into the jail we're going to start with the nine mil t-series let's see what these things can do through some cloth y'all All right, I believe that was a good hit. Let's go down there and make sure everything's all right. I'm seeing an awful lot of smoke down there. All right, that's some fantastic looking performance out of that T-Series down there. So let's see what this 300 Blackout will do now. I'm gonna try to put this thing up above the T-Series, but it's tricky because I got in the middle because of my, uh, my height over bore. I didn't really think about that much, but I'm gonna, try to, I'm gonna try to get high enough and keep it out of that other one. All right, I think that was absolutely perfect. Let's go down there and check those out. All right, y'all, let's check out what we got down here. First thing I will say is I'm loving what I'm seeing out of both of these rounds. I've got y'all on the other side so you can see a little bit better. That's why it's backwards here. But down on the bottom here, that's that nine millimeter T-Series. As you can see, it didn't care nothing about no cloth. It came in here, obviously expanded well, fantastic wound channel and disruption there, nice spiral action because of those talons that stick out, carried on into the second block down here and it's sitting right here at the end of your picture there turned around not all the way backwards but not almost completely backwards but still very very nice expansion i can already tell on it and then obviously at the top it's going to be a 300 blackout same story here didn't care nothing about that cloth now it had that insert so i wouldn't expect it to uh nice wound channel again very nice disruption not as big as this nine millimeter because the projectile is not as big around as far as expansion we'll see here in a minute so definitely not as big of a wound channel very nice spiral looking action though and stops right as it pokes into the second block maybe an inch into the second block at the most and speaking of that the penetration from our nine millimeter t-series is down here at 21 and a quarter inches from our 300 blackout we're at right at 17 inches so fantastic penetration from both of those a little bit closer look here right there on the top that's that 300 blackout as you can see nice wound channel goes right into the second block drops a little insert right there and you can see it in the second block there not a whole lot of expansion but it did and then of course on the bottom that was that t-series very very nice wound channel nice disruption there carries into the second block keeps on trucking and stops right there and as you can see some very very nice expansion on that all right, y'all, let's take a look at these projectiles. I don't think there's any mistake in which one is which here. Nine millimeter T-Series and then the 300 Blackout. I mean, you can see all that right there was down in the case on that 300 Blackout. That's what was, that's what you had exposed right there. So as far as this 300 Blackout, obviously you can see it did expand there, uh, dumped a little uh, insert right before it expanded or right before it came to a stop anyway, it looked like. So not any kind of crazy expansion, but I wouldn't expect a whole lot out of this. This is not really a defense 
expensive round so that's probably about what you can expect out of this and then of course this big old nasty t-series this thing is just absolutely nasty i love these t-series rounds great expansion on this thing regardless of the cloth you can see all of those little talons just sticking out exactly like they're supposed to do this thing is just one mean round y'all and these talons are super super thick i've mentioned this before but you don't want to just try to grab these things and bend them they are super hard to bend if you even try to and they will poke you big time so very very nice performance out of this thing well let's get us a little data i don't see any material in the gel but we could have a little bit this 300 blackout started at 190 that right there is 189 if we add the insert back uh, we're at 189.4 so may have lost a crumb or two but not much at all and then our t-series started at 147 we've got 146 point seven so may have lost a crumb or two on that one also but not much at all now as far as our expansion here this is going to be a big difference so on the 300 blackout we got 432 418 and 421 so nice expansion on that like i say that's probably all you could really expect from that round there and then as for this t-series here you got 774 754 and 757 so absolutely incredible expansion on that thing and so there you have it y'all subsonic 300 blackout versus nine millimeter fantastic performance out of both of these rounds i wouldn't hesitate to use either one of these now if i had to make a choice between these two specific rounds here i would personally go with this nine mil t-series uh more penetration more expansion slightly less energy but honestly that's only because it was a half inch shorter barrel um i'm sure y'all realize that we barely 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 got enough speed on this 300 blackout out to get a little tiny bit more energy but it had a half inch longer barrel so if you were to take that half inch and put these out of the exact same barrel length you would have nearly identical ballistic performance all right y'all we're gonna wrap it up right there for what i think was a very interesting caliber versus caliber test like i said before these are two of my personal bumping the night tools so i've been curious about doing this test for quite a while now i knew that there would be a point between weight and velocity with the nine and the 300 blackout that you would almost have the same round ballistics wise anyway once you got to that certain area so it was very interesting for me to see that here with this test but y'all let me know what y'all think about these results if you did enjoy the video take a second and hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and make sure you click your bell notification icon so hopefully you can get notified when i upload new stuff y'all take a second while you're doing your shopping and check out my affiliate links in the video description if you shop through amazon hit up that storefront link you'll go straight through amazon like normal from there don't cost you any extra money at all and anything you buy after that i get a kickback from them towards the channel with the cold weather moving in you're gonna need to think about some ear pro that can let you have some winter hats on something over your ears earmuffs or whatever these actual extreme earbuds are absolutely perfect in that case and you can save a pile of money by hitting up those links instead of going straight through their site as always i appreciate all my range gang members and every single one of y'all out there for supporting the channel got a ton of good stuff coming your way so be on the lookout and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see you soon